All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So ultimately, you're looking at the same devices here when you look at the iPhone 12 mini and then you look at the iPhone 12. Now, in my iPhone 12 video, I talked about how I think this is a good fit for a lot of people if they don't want to go this small, but just wanted to get them side by side again and let you see that even though this is a small form factor, this is still a very large display. Do you remember? Because uh, people are saying that this device is too small. Uh, but do you remember the size of the first Galaxy Note? Pause. Yeah. So it was 5.3, if you don't know. Uh, and that was considered huge. The difference is uh, that device might have felt like it was bigger than that overall because it was physically. The footprint was a lot bigger. This is a 5.4 inch display. So the point I'm making is it doesn't matter which one of these phones you go with. I think you're getting the same experience and you're going to get... A, a, a great iPhone experience either way. Now, the purpose of the discussion video, this discussion video, is just to show these devices so you can see them side by side once again. And I know that size is the only thing, only factor that these really play apart from each other. They are literally the same device. Literally. They, <laughs> they, they are exactly the same in specs overall. You know, a few things here and there. That, that might be a little different, but ultimately um, you're looking at the same phones. You've got different screen sizes, obviously. Uh, and then, you know, you have, these do have eSIMs too, depending on, you know, which model you have. Uh, there's an eSIM. So that's something that you could think about. So you got IP68, dust and water resistant, six meters for 30 minutes. Uh, you've got HDR10 displays, 625 nits on both of these. Um, I mean, again, it's literally same, same phone. So, um, you've got, a, a, a identical, pretty much everything. Just the difference in display size makes these seem a little different, but 5.4 and 6.1. Uh, and then you've got 476 pixels per inch coming in at 1080p by 2340. And you have the 1170 by 2532 with 460 uh, pixels per inch for the people out there that feel like that's something they need to know. You got Dolby Vision, wide color gamut, true tone on both of these phones. You have the five nanometer chip, which is the A14 Bionic chip that Apple offers. Uh, you've got the four cores for the GPU. They both come in 64, 128, and 256 gig, and they both have four gigs of RAM. You've got 12 megapixel at 1.6. And the same over here. And then you've got the same for the cameras. I mean, these are literally the same devices, period. The only thing you're getting different from when I see this rundown, it's just the screen size. Oh, and the battery size. But the battery size is not much difference, folks. 22, 27, according to some sites, and 28, 15, according to some sites. That's fantastic uh, because these both have... Um, a lot of features in them and you're going to need something to power that. So, uh, they both have the fast wireless charging at 15 Watts. Uh, you've got fast charging at 20 Watts, 50% of battery in 30 minutes as advertised, which means you have to buy the power brick. Uh, and the difference, another difference these have is price. Now these benchmark nearly identical according to some sites, but the mini actually benchmarks higher. It's got better endurance on battery, and then it's actually higher in the Antutu benchmarks. For, for those that that actually means something, Geekbench and everything, it just scores higher uh, on the, uh, the mini. Now, for me, that absolutely means nothing at all. This just comes down to size. Size is all that matters when you're looking at both of these devices, man. That's it. That's all you're looking at is the size uh, of the displays uh, and the footprint of the device. That's which is going to be your determining factor when you decide to pick one of these up. That's it. So a lot of you guys have asked, you know, like, hey, how could you use such a small phone? I think if you do some research, you'll see that a lot of people that it doesn't matter what the size of their hands are. They're liking the mini for that companionship. It's a, it's just a good, if you have an iPad Pro, which I do, 2020, if you have this device right here, this is like the ultimate companion. Uh, but this is a companion too. Uh, ultimately, same same setup here. You know, this, this is the big version, the body of all of those. That's all Apple did. 
let's, let's do it like that. So um, I feel like uh, for those that are just really not able to decide which one of these phones you want, a color also, a lot of you guys are thinking about the colors. I personally think that these are the top colors right here, the silver and the green. I think they're just the best looking colors. They just look good. I like them. I think these colors are good. And because uh, you know they don't have any kind of fingerprints or anything when you when you use it. All the other colors produce fingerprints. So uh, personal preference. But I can tell you uh, that you know using these both of these phones, I, I don't think you'll dislike either one. But I think that after you use the mini for a while, you're gonna be probably really impressed with how well uh, it feels and how it can be a part of your everyday. Uh, when it comes to having a smartphone, because again, the size of this thing, you shouldn't let it deter you. It's really just a phone with all screen. So keep that in mind when you're trying to decide. When you're going to the store to play with them, it's difficult because they have none of locking brackets and all that right there, but you really have to take into consideration of how you're gonna be moving about throughout your day and how big a phone do you want to carry around. You know what I'm saying? So size, yeah, here's a size comparison and a comparison of the specs and everything of the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini. They both come in different colors. You know, they both have, they're just identical in every way. And even when you put these next to the pro models, you are not getting much difference. And I, as you know, I said in another video, I skipped the pro models altogether because I just didn't feel like they were worth it in, in the end. And so just pulling up the iPhone 12 Pro is pretty much the same body as this device, the iPhone 12. And the difference is the memory options and then the extra camera with the LiDAR. That's the only thing that I, I see here that I think is truly different. And you ask yourself, do you really want to spend that extra money just for that? You got to ask yourself that. Anyway, it's your man Jay, and um, I will see you guys in another video. Uh, hope you take care. And uh, just know the battery on both of these is really good. I think I might have misconstrued those battery options right there. On some sites, the 12 has better battery than the 12 mini, just so you know. And then some sites have listed the 12 mini with fantastic battery compared to the 12. But battery depends on the user. These rundown tests that these companies do or these sites do, they're not realistic. It's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed the 12, the 12 mini, the 12 pro, the 12 pro max. Which do you prefer? Take care.